Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in the Photoshop design series. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this sprite poster in Photoshop. If you're not subscribed to my channel now, it's the right time to do that and make sure you turn on post notifications so you miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to file and click on new like this. So I'm just going to give this a name here like this. I'm going to change the name to um, Sprite Poster or you could just say Sprite Flyer, whichever way works best for you, right? Um, width stays at 5 and um, height stays at 5, resolution 300 and everything else here stays the same. Now let's get down to business. So the first thing I would want to do is I'll revert these colors because this is what I used previously. So I'll just revert it and um, select a new color. So for the foreground color, I'm going to be using this color right and for the background color i'm going to leave it at white like that right so the first thing i want to do is go to adjustment solid color click on solid color and yes this is the same color i used here right so this is the same color here i'm going back there um this is the color of white fff -F -F -F. then this is um, this is the color code for the yellow i used here good so create another layer solid adjustment this time gradient click on this arrow and under basic make sure you're selecting from white to yellow right combination of two colors change this to radial like this and click on reverse so you have this beautiful nice um gradient lastly what i would do is i'm going to bump this up scale it up to i think um it's perfect at this point and um, of course in real time you see this so just click OK like this great okay so having done that next thing I want to do is I'm going to go over to my resource file again the resource file I used in this video is in the link description of this video so click on the description of this video to get the link to get the files so I'm just going to bring this in like this and um, I'm holding down Alt to resize from all sides like this. I'm going to place it here like this and um, OK, just to make um, some adjustments to the sprites, I'm going to go to filter camera raw and um, I'm just going to make it a little bit more punchy. So I'm just going to play with the textures, increase it, use my settings, please. And um, clarity, and I'm going to dehaze it like this. Uh, of course, so that's not all. I'm going to go over to the black. I'm going to add a bit of blacks to it, right? And um, when I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. So that's before, and this is after. You can see how um, it is. It has become more contrasty and uh, more punchy, right? So um, let's move on. Ctrl T and I'll just turn this like this so it's facing this angle make it bigger just slightly not too much and click enter Ctrl T is for transform right so what I want to do with this guy right now is um, I'll right click go to blending option right right click and go to blending option and um, select drop shadow let me just move this out of the way so I see what I'm doing clearly right so i think i like the direction of this shadow so you can copy my settings you can leave the opacity um at 80 i will be adjusting this later on right so i'm just going to leave it here then you copy all these my settings the way it is right very very important then click ok okay great um the next thing i want to do is i would uh, want to make this slightly bigger again just like this and click enter to release it so what i would like to do next is i would like to make duplicate copies copies of this but let me just add increase it a bit okay good i would also want to make duplicate copy of this sprite so ctrl j and i'm going to push this one to this part here like this move it upwards and uh, i'm going to do another ctrl j again for this but this time i'm going to bring this one down here okay great so ctrl t for this one i'm going to make this one slightly bigger than the rest of them and i'm going to put it here like this 
press enter like this right great okay so you see they're nicely done so you can go ahead and group these three things together but in this video i'm not going to be doing that right so i'm just going to select three of them ctrl t and um, make it bigger and um, i'm going to pull it to the edge here like this while i'm still making it bigger like this i think i'm okay with this actual size i'm gonna bring it down slightly and um when i'm done with everything i'm just going to click enter like this and um that's it great okay so um let's move on shall we great so um the next thing i'm going to be doing is um going to go to this layer directly on top of the gradient and i'm going to go to my rectangle too and i'm just going to draw a rectangle like this don't worry about it being perfect just draw a rectangle like this and um ctrl j to duplicate this and i'm going to bring the duplicate copy downwards like this right just here like this So the next thing I'm going to do is select both of them, hold down shift, ctrl T and hold down ctrl to skew it like this. So this is how you skew, right? So hold down alt key to resize from the edge like this to make it bigger. Then you can pull this out and um, of course still make it bigger and click enter when you're done. Just like this. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is go over to my text to make sure you're selecting the horizontal and I'm just going to type something to include it on top of the rectangle. So I'm just going to drag and drop while I change the color here to, of course, white. Great. So I'm just going to make it um, bigger for visibility's sake so it's visible. Right, Ctrl J to duplicate this and um, bring this downwards. And I'm just going to type lemon here this way. Okay, great. Now that that's out of the way, let's proceed to the next thing. Right, great. Okay, so right about now, I'm going over to my resource file to bring in some other elements. To join into this grid party that we've started already so i'm just going to bring this here and i'm positioning this here but um this is a, actually the wrong place to put this but then don't need to panic just drag and uh, that, that's the wrong thing i dragged sorry so drag like this and place it on top of the layer so you need to be very very careful make sure that when you want to bring in anything you're bringing in on top most layer unless you want it to be at the point where you have placed it right good so i'm just going to position this here like this go to filter go to blur and apply some gaussian blur to it so that the focus and the attention is not going to be on the lemon right great so i'm just going to add that to it copy my settings for the blur great um let me zoom in okay perfect the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this one here drag and drop and i'm going to position this somewhere around this place but i'm going to make it small first just like this okay and um of course uh ctrl m to bring out the curves adjustment layer while you're still selecting the green right so you're going to make sure you do something like this it looks like an s right um not not a perfect x but then it's close to an s right so i'm just going to right click and go to blending option still selecting that and i'm going to click drop shadow like this i'm going to put this shadow somewhere around here because my light um is coming from that angle so copy my settings too for this and um when you're convinced you click ok okay so the last thing i want to do is also make this slightly bigger move this upward so you don't have any space at the back there and um one last thing i would like to do with this is um i think it's looking nice right so let's move on to the next thing i might come back to that so bringing this uh 
eyes that we have here and I'm going to position this here while I make it bigger like this and when you're done click enter just like this okie dokie so um, the next thing I want to do is go over to my um, files and I'm going to bring in this particular lemon here and I'm just going to bring it here if you notice it's on the topmost layer right so um, while it's here I'm just going to make it bigger um, like this and I'm going to position this well here right click enter when you're done so of course Control M while you're selecting it and um, bring this down this way and um, add another node and um, create something that looks like a S shape S for shape right great so I'm going to go over to blow Gaussian blow to add some extra um, blow effect to it and click OK like this okay great um, I'm just gonna make a slight adjustment to this guys here um, it's supposed to be lemon so I'm gonna uh, yeah so I've dealt with that too many space I was having before let's move this this part here like this Cool. okay so um, I'm just going to go over to the shadows for each of those cans to increase the shadows so that's basically what I'm doing now all right to make it look more realistic click on this and um, increase the shadow opacity okay great move this up move this up like this and voila you good to go so um, the last thing I'm going to bring in inside is something that looks somewhat like smoke so I'm just gonna drag and um, bring it inside here like this and um, increase the size like this and move it upward like this So you see this looks like uh, more like a smoky effect right so sprite lemon and um, ctrl t on the sprites to bring out the transform and click enter when you are done increasing the size okay good one okay so the last thing I'm going to bring in is the logo of Sprite. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Of course, I didn't go to the top layer. That's why it's bringing it inside here like this. So when I place it, I'm just going to drag this layer up to the top of everything that we have inside here. So with this one, I'm just going to press Ctrl T and I'm going to rotate it like this and click enter when i have the perfect angle okay great and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a snapshot of all the layers Control shift alt plus e does that for you right just like we've done in previous videos so with the snapshot selected go to your filter and um, just add the same settings like I'm going to be doing now right so I'm going to add some shadows to it increase the texture and um, what else would I do add some clarity to it it needs to be punchy and um, add, of course add some blacks to it right um, good then when you're done just click OK like this
okay um one last thing i would like to do i would like to balance um uh, the colors just a bit more so um how do i do that if you would ask very very simple so what i would do is or what i would like to do is i'm just going to go over to um adjustment layer um of course let me see great okay so adjustment layer and i'm going to um yeah color balance so what i'm going to do is just basic mid-tones use my settings and there you go voila this would be all i'm going to do all right guys if you like my videos if you like this one in particular don't forget to give it a thumbs up when you're watching it helps the algorithm a lot don't forget to drop your comments um if there's anything you don't understand in the comment section i'll be sure to answer them till then i'll see you in the next video thank you